gonna be my year. Yeah. This my year. This gonna be my year. This gonna be my year. This yeah. my year. This gonna be my year. This gonna be my year. What's going on everybody and welcome back to some daily content. I feel very comfortable saying it's daily content considering I have been putting out daily content. Mostly the content I've been putting out, this will come out a few days later, most of the content I've been putting out has been dealing with Filthy 150. Um, I'm probably going to be, um, I'm going to go to a few sanctionals this year, but if I'm not going to a, few, to a specific sanctional, I might do some of the workouts from the sanctional and post them before the actual sanctional exists because I think to myself, Man, if I was going to a sanctional, I would like to know how to approach a workout and if someone already tried it, like how what their thoughts on it were. And so that's kind of what I'm going to do. And now you're also asking yourself, you're wearing a Santa hat. Yes, because today is November 21st. It's almost Christmas time. Anyways, let's get started on this workout and talk about what it is. We are off in three, two, one, getting it. What are we doing here? We are essentially doing a three round workout where the double under reps stay the same but the dumbbell snatch and the chest the bar decrease every round. So we're doing 100 double unders, 30 dumbbell snatches, 30 chest the bar. 100 double unders, 24 dumbbell snatches, 24 chest the bar. 100 double unders, 18 dumbbell snatches, and finally 18 chest the bar. So this is a perfect workout to really discuss the concept of <clears throat> like an age old adage you might hear of, hey, Fast is smooth and smooth is fast. Like there's obviously a time in a CrossFit workout or in any workout to really go really ham and let the horses out of the gate and just go, right? I think my last workout, full kind of commentary workout I did dealt with um, rowing, bar muscle-ups, and overhead squats. That was a fast workout. And there was a point to that workout where you had to sprint. It was a sprint workout. But some workouts like this, are still somewhat of a sprint, but at the same time, it's a it's a controlled sprint, right? You're trying to go smooth between things. Because granted, I could approach this workout and start hammering double unders as fast as I can, hammering dumbbell snatches as fast as I can, and you, and you might fall apart, right? There's a point of diminishing returns where you might ask yourself, okay, if I go too fast, if I redline too hard, then I'm gonna just blow up and I'm, I'm gonna fall apart. And I don't have the video up. Um, I actually don't think I even filmed it. But Andrew did this workout right after me. And Andrew's a really good athlete uh, in CrossFit. He's really good at certain things. And this is a workout he's really, really good at. Now, we usually trade off um, every other day on who goes first in the workout because you can kind of watch them do it due to space usually or equipment concerns. We can't go at the same time. And usually, honestly, he counts for me because I'm terrible at counting. And so it's really cool to see him go and see his game plan and then I can change it. And usually what happens is I'll change it and, and do a little better. Um, and if I go first, usually he'll change it and do a little better. And that's usually how it goes, right? So it's cool to kind of play each other's ideas off on each other. Well, in terms of this workout that you're watching here, um, <clears throat> I, think, I think I went first. And he went second. <clears throat> and I put up a decent score. Like there was not really a whole lot of wasted time in this workout. And he approached it a little bit differently. And instead of kind of doing smooth as fast, like making sure, you know, walking between transitions, but making sure you're getting right to it. You know, I'm not wasting any time, but I wasn't really sprinting each movement. Instead, he kind of picked up the pace up a little bit in an effort to beat me, which I, I totally agree with. Like I, I would have done the same thing. Um, but what happened was, if you go almost too fast on these movements, like you're trying to speed up your double under, you might mess up. And if you mess up, then you feel the need to go a little bit faster. Sorry, if you're hearing those the, the jingling bell, for those of you that don't know, in my house we have a bell attached to our door that our dog can ring to let him outside. I know, it's really pathetic. It's not, it's not like jingle bells like my hat is jingling. Anyways, back to it. I'll let you out in a second, Winston. Anyways, back to it. So he picked at the pace and kind of sprinted each movement and he was, he, don't get me wrong, he was smooth in transitions, but he sprinted and it wasn't super, super, it was really fast. Well, the problem is if you spike your heart rate too high in a workout like this, you might fall apart, right? So he didn't really fall apart till the very, very end. Like his, his chest of bars really got him to the very end. So, I mean, considering he's a great athlete and he did really well at this workout. But you have to ask yourself sometimes in a workout like this, is it worth it sprinting and going really, really hard? Because you have to realize near the end, it might really, you might suffer because of it. Um, so, if you're approaching this workout, you're going to try this workout. Um, first of all, let's talk about scaling options. 
Obviously, if you can't do double unders and you're doing single unders, do a one-to-one -one ratio. You're still doing 100 single unders. Don't do like 200. Like I don't like it when people are always like, oh, you can't do single unders. I'm going to punish you and make you do 200 singles, so it, you know, 100 doubles, like a two-to-one ratio. Stupid. Just do the same amount of reps. Like single unders are hard. Just practice double unders in your free time. A dumbbell snatch, if you're a male and you can't do a 50-pound dumbbell snatch, do a 35. The goal is to be able to do this whole thing unbroken. Um, granted, you know, the goal is that you should be able to do the first round unbroken, right? If you can't do 30 dumbbell snatches unbroken with a 50-pound dumbbell alternating, then you should drop the weight and go to 35. I'm not saying you should do everything unbroken. Like, granted, it's going to get tough near the end, So, but at least focus on the first round being unbroken. If you can't do that, drop the weight. Same for females. If you can't do 30 unbroken alternating dumbbell thrushers with a thrusher snatches with a 35, drop the weight to like a 20. Chest the bars. Uh, same concept. So... The goal should be able to get as many rounds unbroken as possible. Um, if you can't do 20 unbroken chest bars, I would say do pull-ups. If you can't do 20 unbroken pull-ups, I would say do ring rows. And honestly, ring rows are difficult as crud. I've talked about that in like previous videos. Like ring rows are for sure super difficult to do. Um, the hardest part in this workout, so if you're gonna do this workout, whether it's RX or scaled, I thought the hardest part in this workout wasn't the snatches, okay? It wasn't the chest of bar unless it was like the last set. It was in fact the double unders because for me, I don't do double unders very often as I probably should. And for me, you should treat, I mean, what you should do, the law is you should treat double unders as a rest. But for me, I'm not really great at that. I kind of get my, I kind of spike my heart rate while doing double unders and I wasn't able to kind of lower it in this workout. Um, and so doing hundred double unders unbroken every single round was, was quite difficult and quite taxing and tiring. Um, but that is the goal to be able to do them unbroken. Um, honestly, the workout we did at the games this year, we had pegboards, double unders, and like alternating dumbbell clean and jerks and snatches. Um, I don't remember what event it was. Um, maybe like six or seven. Um, it was difficult because I couldn't lower my heart rate in the double unders. And, and I probably should practice it more as we come into sectional season. Um, I should probably focus on it more, but I haven't done it yet. So overall, when you're approaching a workout like this or any kind of workout that's very similar to, like, to this, and when I say similar, I mean a movement that, I mean a workout you can keep moving, you're not having to stop and refocus. Like if we had to do a bunch of muscle ups or maybe some heavy barbell work, that would make you break, right? You'd have to break certain things possibly. But in this workout, it's a workout where you don't have to break. Like you can do double unders. You know you can do 100 and broken. You know you can cycle this dumbbell snatch. You know you can cycle chest to the bar. There was nothing in this workout that made you stop and rest. So in a workout like this, that's probably over four minutes, you should be trying to go smooth as fast, fast as smooth, and not trying to sprint, right? If I decided to sprint in the beginning, I probably would have fell apart, and that's kind of what Andrew did. Now, if I'm getting near the last round, if I'm in this round right now, then yeah, I'm gonna start sprinting the dumbbell snatch. So if you go back and watch, my snatches in this round my final round of 18 was probably faster than my snatches in my round of 30 or 24 because I'm nearing the end. I know have how much I have in the tank and I know how much I can give without falling apart. So anyways, that's really it guys. Kind of my, my moral of the story, my lesson to you guys is be cognizant of sprinting. Be cognizant of going too fast. If the workout's really easy like this, it's really tempting to hammer it. Make sure you're going slow and sometimes smooth is fast. You know, the, the lesson, the moral story is the hair didn't the hair did lose the turtle the turtle beat the hair because he was smooth he was smooth in his transitions and he never stopped and sometimes the hair is going to lose because the hair goes out too fast and wants to take a nap that was actually a great moral great analogy anyways guys thanks for watching if you want to watch a workout similar a video similar to this click right here other than that have a great day we'll talk to you guys later see ya